we're trying to set a world record. It's the so fastest it's time ever to go from one place on the Earth, over both poles, and back to the same point on the Earth, all in under 48 hours. Calling themselves one more orbit, their goal is to complete the fastest circumnavigation of the Earth via the North and South Poles in a business jet. And they're live streaming the whole thing. We need to go far and fast. And to fly around the Earth is a major undertaking. It's not something you can do by yourself. What we were achieving was something that has never been achieved before. The real challenge is making sure the refuels work very, very quickly. The pit you, stops. You could lose a huge amount of time if your right. refuel was too slow. There are no divert airfields in Antarctica in the midwinter. Is this mission so important to me that I am happy to risk my life? One hour! One hour to take off! And I'm such a tech nerd that yes, yes it is. One of the problems with being an astronaut is that your bucket list gets too long, and there are so many beautiful places on the planet that you want to see. This is a beautiful business jet, except normally you don't live in an airplane. Do you remember when we got ice cream on board the SS? Yes. We chose the Kennedy Space Center as the location for our launch, where Apollo left from 50 years ago. I didn't even know satellites could do this. I figured you must have some engineer and some really good technical people even to make the Wi-Fi work. <laughs> One more orbit, our Gulfstream G650ER is not going to slow down for anybody. Okay, so this guy is going to have to catch him up. Janneke and Magdalena are probably the only two living females on the planet that have circumnavigated the poles. 